Welcome to Crafty Concepts with Erin. Today I have something a little bit different to share with you. As part of the creative design team, we're bringing you a challenge called Holidays Reimagined, where a group of, I believe there are seven of us, have taken a holiday-themed layout or project or paper pack, and we're doing something other than that intended holiday. So here's a Christmas layout that I have selected from the Complete Creativity Collection. And I'm going to use this wreath, the scalloped photo frame there, and the scalloped decorative border. And I'm going to use the word love from this title, Peace, Love, and Joy. And instead of a Christmas layout, I'm going to make more of a Valentine-themed layout. So here's a look at what I put together in the design space. You can see that title, love, and the wreath there, the scallop border, and these hearts, I just added a basic heart shape and resized them to fit my layout here. So I have all my pieces cut out, and I have this photo of me at work holding um, a vase of 12 or a dozen long stem red roses my husband had delivered and just surprised me one day, so it's very cool. But I have this retired mix-in paper, and I'm going to use this really pretty gray marbled background on this side here. I'll set all these pieces to the side and we can get started. I always start by removing the little zip strip there, and then I'm going to just basically lay out my pieces how I had them in the design space, and then we can really bring in the creativity after we kind of have the basic layout um, down. So I've cut this in the Ruby cardstock, and as you know, our cardstock is two-toned, so you can see the lovely contrast there with the overlay on the heart. And then I'm going to, you can tell we need something up in this corner here. So these, now we have that kind of red visual triangle there and it balances the layout really nicely. I'm going to sand the edges of these uh, ruby red hearts just so there's a little contrast and definition. You can see that white edge helps define the heart against the same color heart behind it. So just adds a little interest, helps it stand out, and I think that looks really nice. I like that our cardstock has two tones and the white core, so you really get a lot of um, different looks out of one sheet of cardstock. I'm going to sand the letters as well and just give those a little bit of distressing. I, this is just a nail file that I'm using here that works well for this. So here are our stitched hearts and I decided to bring in a little bit of more color and pattern paper here. So that light pink is ballerina and the little heart pattern background page there is from a last year's, I think it was called Oh My Heart um, and it was a Valentine themed kit. So I'm just using up some of those leftovers and I've cut out the medium and small stitched heart just to add to my clusters here on either side of my circle. And I want to bring in some more layers and I was experimenting with the pattern paper and I'm not sure I'll leave that but I have this just plain white tissue paper here and I'm going to put some of this behind my photo. So I want it kind of rough and messy and it doesn't have to be you know, uh, nice clean edges like maybe you would with a cardstock photo mat. This just kind of adds an element of softness and texture to the layout. So I don't want to completely cover my black scalloped mat, so I'm going to trim this down just a little bit here. Remove those extra bits and pieces. And I think that's going to work well and I'll just kind of ruffle up the edges there and get everything situated just so. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to use that extra pattern paper there. I'm trying another color and yeah, I just don't like it. So we'll set that aside and I'm gonna go ahead and get this wreath tacked down with my liquid adhesive. You don't have to glue the entire thing, and once we adhere our clusters down, that'll help hold the wreath in place as well. 
So some of you, if you've been watching my videos, you've maybe seen this before. This is a little trick I picked up from Jennifer McGuire. When you have your large clusters just perfectly situated and you know if you move them, you're never gonna get them back the way you originally had them, you can use the Glad Press and Seal and just press it down, flip it over, apply adhesive on the back. And I mean, this guy didn't quite get enough, so I'll have to put a little glue on that one. But, and this is, I've used this same piece of plastic numerous times, so you don't have to feel bad about wasting. I just fold it up and tuck it right back in the box and it's ready to use the next time you need it. So super handy trick. I really like doing that when we have embellishment clusters. I still want to bring in a little bit more layering and color to this layout. So I have these text papers and I thought maybe the black and white would be kind of fun just somewhere to kind of highlight that title love. So I'm going to dovetail the left hand side of this and then I will trim it down and tuck it behind my photo and I'm going to have to cut off a little bit because it's hitting the adhesive behind my picture there. And I like the way that looks so I think I'm going to commit and I'll tape that down. And again it's just going to add some kind of um, some more presence uh, for the title and layering and interest to that area and help that title stand out against the brighter white paper. So I don't have as much room at the top there so the wreath is touching that border so I think I'll you know move that back down to the bottom but I'm going to use some white Tombow glue and this little sponge piece and this lacy heart overlay is very intricate and it's difficult to put glue on so this is a handy way and I have found that the white glue works the best for this technique and I use my all-purpose mat so you can just wipe it up with a baby wipe when you're done I've decided I want to mirror that text paper on the right hand side so I'm just going to put a small little piece kind of like I said mirroring on the opposite side and of course I have to lift up my little heart cluster here but that's okay it'll go right back down we'll just tuck this behind it and no one will ever know almost all of these um, papers are from different mix-in collections that I've collected and I love the mix-in paper packs they're designed to go along with the current paper packs that are out in a particular catalog cycle but they can really be a standalone paper pack so I definitely get those every time and I've just been on a kick lately using all of those up and having a lot of fun creating with them so I don't know about you guys, but I love using up a particular kit or product and getting a ton of mileage out of whatever it is I have. It just makes me so happy, like almost, yay, I used it all up. Now I get to buy some more. I'm not sure if that's why, but I just feel good about using something up. So this particular challenge of Holidays Reimagined was right up my alley. So I thought, yay, let's see what we can do with this Christmas layout and how can we make it work well beyond Christmas. So as I mentioned in the beginning, this is part of a video hop. So I think last I checked, there's about seven ladies participating in this challenge. And there is a lot of talent in that group. I felt really honored to be invited to participate in it. So I will leave a link in the description box below. So after you're done watching my video, you can check for that link there. It'll take you to fellow consultant and friend Julie Carrier's uh, YouTube page where you can see what she's created for this particular challenge and give you some great ideas on how you can think outside of the box and just get more mileage from your products. As you see here, I'm just adding some splatter to my layout. I have the black shimmer pen, and I really love these shimmer pens. They are good for adding sparkle. Um, they're great for adding the splatter, as you can see there. 
and then you, I have my all-purpose mat down so I could just wipe it up with a baby wipe. I'm using a little just computer paper to block where I don't want the splatter and then you just gently tap that pen and not only does it give you a little splatter but it gives you a little shine in there as well. So very cool product comes in a lot of different colors. So speaking of sparkle and shine, I thought it would be fun to embellish my wreath with these silver glitter gems. So I'm just kind of randomly placing these around the wreath in no particular order, just making sure I, you know, have it balanced as I go around. Some are on the inside, some are on the outside, and then some are on directly on the wreath itself. As I'm looking at this, I decided I wanted to add more black. So I have these vellum die cuts from the Every Little Thing collection, and this is left over. I believe this is a, I don't think it's available anymore, but I will check my online only section of my store to see if it is still available. But I'm just going to layer these just around the wreath there and I just thought it complemented it nicely and added more of that black. So I have the black on the bottom and the black behind my photo mat, but I just, like I said, wanted to incorporate a little bit more, and I thought this was a good way to do it. And it just, I like the layering and how it adds some, you know, uh, interest and just more uh, fullness to this wreath here. These are very pretty embellishments. It inspires me to get my stays on ink out and stamp on vellum with my own stamps and just kind of get this look. It's just really a nice look. So I'm just gluing down the very bottom there because I don't want my adhesive to show through the vellum pieces. So just adding a few remaining bits and pieces, I punched this little file tab with this punch I've had around forever, and I'll stamp the date there. And I did off the camera, but I went ahead and added a few tangles of thread. There's the black and then the black and red up there by my title and date. So I just like the way that looks. I'm kind of channeling my inner Missy Whitten. I love how she uses a lot of thread tangles on her layouts. So looking at this now, you would never know it started out as a Christmas layout. So this is from the Complete Creativity Collection and I love mixing and matching a lot of the elements and projects there to come up with something new. So I do have a playlist where I've taken other projects from the Complete Creativity and done a lot of Cricut layouts. So I'll link to that in the end screen if you're interested in checking that out. But be sure to hop down to that description box and look for Julie Carrier's link so you can continue hopping around the video hop and checking out all of the fabulous artwork and ideas on how to use up your holiday kits. See you in the next video.